Hi guys, thank you for coming onto the channel, whether you've been there before or not. Today's video is a bit of a toughie, but let's get into it. Let's have a little zoom in over the back there. Um, we'll zoom back. We're going to have a look down, have a look at the lake. And then let's see what these guys are doing. Hello, oh, fellas, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right, Tar. Yeah, I'm good. Hello, mate. You all right? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm good, Tar. Good video on my site. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You are? Uh, you are? Errol. Errol? John. How you doing? Nice to meet you, Errol. Do you mind not videoing my site? No, I'm videoing today. I've come down here special to do it. Because that's what I do is video sites like this if I see some work going on. Oh, it's good. Goes on YouTube later on. Yeah, it's good. Thanks, man. It's all right. Yeah, you're welcome.
Yeah, well. I suppose I should have asked, I should have asked him what he's doing. Shouldn't I really? Yes, mate. Sorry? I'll bring it over this way a little bit and then it won't be so much over your sight, no, but and then I'll dip it. Well, I'll do mine, yeah. Come on, bro. This is what I do. This is, I know, no, but how do you earn your money? By I building. How do I earn mine? I don't this. know, man. Well, this I is it. I appreciate it. Just come over after sight. Oh, yeah, well, that's near enough off your sight, aren't they? You see, this is how I earn my money. Yeah, earn it somewhere else. No. This, this ain't the site you this want to Well, tell me where there's another one working like this. Tell me what you're doing then, and I'll be here less time. I won't have what to... What does that mean? Well, what are you building? What are you, what are you, uh, what are you doing? Tell me what you're doing. It's all on the development plans, bro. It's going to be built as a car wash. Oh, all right, okay. Car wash. Oh, all right. It was a car wash before, was it? It was, yeah. Nice one, actually. Right, okay. There you go. That's off your site. That's appreciated. All right. I can, I'll just have a little dip in from there, but without going over, right? It's the same principle, my bro. Hey? It's the same principle, man. There's a lake behind. It's a I know. lake. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, but it's 25 million pounds worth. What? The, the fish? Lake. The lake. Oh, right, yeah. So, just move your ship, man. Oh, I have. I've moved it. Uh, it's not on your, it's not over your I site, yeah? Wait, wait, wait. I don't understand all this. Move it off my site, bro. You're pissing me off, to be honest. Well, I mean, don't think of doing anything silly. I will take your GoPro and stick up your ass. Really? Yeah. Wow. What with all the, with all these I people don't around? I really care. Just move it, man. No. Don't even think about it. Otherwise, the spray will come out. No. Ah. In front of all this, I'll tell you I'll what, you're going, you're you. going inside. I don't give a shit. I'll don't come near me. I'll take your drone off you. Don't come near me. I'll take your drone off you. Just move you're yourself. not going to do nothing. Yes, you are. I'm going to go and do it from the other side, the road. Yeah, I will. In fact, they know me in quick fit. I'll go in there, see if you follow me in there as well. In fact, I'll get them to call the police because you've been threatening me. Hi, oh, mate. You do me a favour, can you call the police, one of you? Because I'm being threatened by next door. And he's threatened to beat me up. Can someone do that? Can you call the police for me, please? Bloke next door threatening to beat me up. You don't want that outside of here, do you? You just nine, sorry, you can just nine, nine, nine it. No, no, one day I'll leave it home. Yeah, just tell them I'm outside. Is there any chance you'd 999 in that for me, please? Would you mind? Not on the business phone. No? No other phone, no? Right? Somebody just ring 999 and just tell them there's a problem outside? What's the matter? He's threatening to beat me up next door. Pick up. Yeah, go. The bloke from uh, this place. Okay. He chased me all up the road. Right. One second, let me just finish this. That's okay. You'll be safe yeah. here. Yeah, yeah but my drones, I've got a drone up there and the drone's not safe. So, you got a bit of battery in there? Right, yeah, enough.
could you land it? Yeah, I could do, but I don't know what he's going to do. He chased me over the road and he chased me back in, in oh. here until I was coming in here. Because he doesn't want my drone up there. It's not even on his sight, it's looking down on his sight, but it's actually over there. Just can't have people doing that for to photographers and people with drones. I can't, I can't let them get away with it. Do you have a license to try? Yeah. Um, the thing is, if you to east side. I don't know what the law is like, but... No, I know what the law is. All I need is, is the police called. I'll go out there and tell him, police are on the way, I'll shut him up. You, you need that phone number, I can't call 999. Yeah, just, it has to be a 02. Just, well, it's an emergency. If he, 999 will get me. This is an emergency, isn't it? If he's going to beat me up, stick me, GoPro up me ass. Um, I'll speak to him. I mean, if you, all I need is a 999 call. I can't call 999. I can call the police, but not 999. Well, it's not whatever a, then. Yeah. No, I think it's pretty. Anyway, 101 then is, is the ordinary yeah. police. So you open on the you guys ever get ever get this problem that I've got, eh? You know, your, your partners or whatever are going to get beat up, beaten up. No one wants to help, do they? It's typically this country. Sorry to bother you. Would you mind phoning 999 for me, please? Because they're threatening to beat me up in here, in this place next door, in this site. They're threatening to beat me up, literally, because I've got a drone up there. And they're saying, well, he's already chased me over one side of the road and back over the other. And you not got a phone? No, I left it. I'm, one day I needed a phone and I haven't got one. Yeah, yeah, I'm still filming, yeah. But he can't. I can't have him. You know, I can't have him doing that. What's he doing? Well, threatening to beat me up. Oh, that's right. Nice, isn't went it? come towards towards me uh, camera doing twice. What are they doing there? Another building another uh, wash site. Oh, right. Take so, some pictures. Put them out there. Well, yeah, the drone's taking them. Are you still up there? Yeah, I'll put it up. Yeah. Thank you. Return to home. Nine, nine, nine for the police. Please, yeah. Yes, please. Come on, babe. You've got to come over here. I'll end it here. Hello, please. Thank you. And Lidl. Yeah. And Lidl's on the Cray Avenue. It's um, Alkington, sort of St Mary Cray. St Mary Cray, yeah. They chased me over the other side of the road, back here, right? They go in there. There's five people in there, none of them would help me until just now that boat came out. <laughs> I can't believe it. So why is it just got a drone? Yeah. Well, it's all... Yeah, thank you. Yes, please, please. Yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm being threatened by somebody who's, who's going to beat me up and other things, so, um, yeah, that's it. Right, where are you? I'm on the Seven Oaks Way, outside Quick Fit. Sorry, say again? Uh, yeah, well, he's inside, he's on his site, but I'm having to hide, because every time he sees me, he comes running after me and chases me up and down the street, because I've, I've got a drone which I haven't, I've not put over his site or he asked me not to so I brought it off his site and uh, dipped it down and uh, as he's still threatening me so uh, yeah I mean luckily I've got everything on, uh, on film can't have people threatening to, to do things like this to you
Uh, he said he was going to beat me up was uh, w one of his words. He was going to stick my GoPro up my ass. He told me a few times, and I can't think of the other the other things. But as I say, got them got them all on got them all on tape. All what he was saying. I'm a 70 year old, 75 year old man. This bloke's, you know, probably 40. Unbelievable. Thank you so much. Um, I can't, yeah, that's what he was gonna. That's what he was gonna do, amongst other things. I can't remember all of them. I'm sorry, I got a bit. Of, I got dementia, uh, but that and that's why it's all on. It's all on camera. Better make sure the camera is still working. Hang on. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> I've had to hide from him. I had to go into quick fit because he was chasing me, chased me into quick fit, and then uh, I'm having to hide. I'm, I found a couple outside who wouldn't to phone you. But I forgot my phone today. I'm outside quick fit. Yeah, hiding behind a van. Between between me and the site, there's a white big white white van, and I'm hiding behind that. Okay, thank you. No, no, 40 years old, big, tough, uh, white. Yeah, typical big builder. Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry, I don't. No, it was, it was nothing special, just some, some uh, rough clothes. <laughs> Yeah. Said he's the site manager. And they don't come near the uh, siren. Uh, unless it's an ambulance. Yellow. That's an ambulance, isn't it? Yeah, Samulance. I might have needed that. I said there's going to be another five to ten minutes, so I don't know if you want to. Uh, I don't know if you want to shoot. It's up to you. Would you? Bit of excitement, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. There's a bloke. One of the blokes is standing outside. The, there, he can't see me, but so it's okay. He's probably standing there looking for me and waiting for the police. <sighs> Said they're coming on blue lights and sirens, so we should hear them. Yeah. I don't know where they come from now. Yeah. Uh, All the police stations around here are shut now. Yeah. They? Yeah, I don't know where it'd be from. Number. Sorry? The crime number? Yeah, I got it, yeah. Well, well, yeah, he sent it. Oh, he sent it to that, hasn't he? Of course he has, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, well, if you tell me on here, it'll come through on here. What the number was, I can't remember. Is that right? I got classes in, so I can't see <laughs> Four numbers, I think. Yeah, it's C-A-D. CAD. Five one nine two. Thank you. Oh, come on, please. <laughs> well, this is a nice day. Yeah. So you were it around. Yep. And then they came out. Yeah, I went. I, I put it over the top of the site so I could so I could see. Yeah. There he is there. 
Or did he get his number? Yeah, I've got your, got your registration number. Police are on the way. Police will be here in a couple of minutes. So you wait for them, all right? Otherwise, otherwise they'll be looking for you at your place. No, but I will, I would, if he, if he drives out. <laughs> Lovely, thanks again for all your help. I'll get my legs over this side, just in case I've got to run in there. <laughs> Hello, Hello there. Right. Yeah. That's the bloke in the white, in the white t-shirt threatening to beat me up and stick me GoPro up my ass and everything else. He thinks he's funny now. He won't he won't think it's funny when he's inside tonight. Well, let's find out what's happened first. Yeah. Well I put the drone up and he asked me to take it off of his site, which I don't have to, but I did. So I took it straight away over these trees. Yeah. And then um, so that's what I did. So I took it over the trees and then I dipped it down from there. So it wasn't even over his site. I did it as a favour to him. Okay. Then he kept coming out, chased me all over the road, all down the road there, over the road over there, I had to go screaming at some people to help me. And then uh, I ran back over here, went into quick fit, and he's left me alone since I've been in quick fit, except a couple of times, been out, giving me the finger. But I can't have him doing this to, to photographers and, and uh, drone people, just because he don't like it. Well, what I don't, I'm I don't doing, know the laws of drone. I, I what, do, I know the law, exactly. Okay. Uh, what, what sort of threats has he made for? Um, the two main ones he was going to beat me up I can't remember what else he said but he was going to beat me up I got it all on on the, on the yeah. GoPro and he was going to stick the drone up my ass a couple of times so I can't, and he was literally coming for me and when, when you say he's literally coming for you what, in what? he was coming towards me yeah but like what in what manner like, in, like this I don't want to do it to you but yeah. into my face okay. and I had to back off because I thought I was I thought I'd had okay. it and obviously, in regards to this, what would you like us to do now? I, I, want, I want him done for, uh, I don't know, what, what, what is it? It's just as near as you could come to assault. He was right in my face and what he was going to do to me. And as far as I was scared. Okay. So, you know, so section five, if nothing else. OK, well, we'll have to look in sort of other means because if, if it's not, obviously, there could be other ways that we do it. Sort of, have you heard of a community resolution? Um, no. So community resolutions, it's still a positive police action, basically. It's, it's a piece of paper to say that he can't, obviously, it, it would mean that he'd have to admit to what he's done. Yeah. And then it's basically, he gets given this slip. And it's, I know you probably think like it's just a piece of paper, but. Well, yeah, it probably is. It, but I'm quite happy to have that down, down the police station and we'll and download it and you can see exactly what he said to me. Because I can't remember, I, I suffer with a bit of dementia. No, I can't fine, mate, remember yeah. exactly. Those two things I remember Did you easily. No, not with no, because no, it's on. Um, it's not in there, but it's on the tiny little thing. So we've got to download it. So what drone is it? The two four nine DJI Mini Four, which that... means I can fly over anything except uh, except to prison and uh, MOD sites are a bit dodgy. That's about it, really. Oh, but but I was up, and, up, but up in like airports and... Oh, that's the other one. Oh, yeah, okay. yeah, there's yeah. three things, yeah. yeah. MOD's a bit dodgy now, but uh, in, in case it causes a problem, you know. Yeah. If a terrorist gets hold of your paperwork, and then you're done as well. Yeah. Would you do photography then, or...? Yeah, yeah, well, mainly photography. Mainly stills, although I just started doing a bit of drone work, you know. Yeah. In bloke in white there. The white, white shirt and the blue shorts. Uh, is it, but yes. Okay. Yeah, it was him. We'll make sure he doesn't leave for now. Thank you. I'm happy to go down to the police station, download everything that I've got. It's okay. all it's all on this and on this. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think we'll need. Have you got the facility at home? At home, yes. Yeah. So we can arrange it where you can go home and do that. Yep. And then we can send you a link to your phone or Absolutely. an email, and you can upload the footage to our website. Yes. Rather than the hassle coming to the police station. Back sure. I'm sure you've explained to my colleague already, I missed the start of it, but what were you doing here? Were you just flying just your drone? Flying the drone because I wanted to see what, they were, what the site was, you okay. know, what they were doing. It's all, you know, it's all got the fences up and I yeah. wanted to see what they were doing. Okay. 
But when I went over there and he asked me nicely to come off, I did. I came off, put it up over the tree so it wasn't over his sight. Yep. And then he went back in and then he came out a couple of times again, really threatening me, saying that's not good enough. I want you to you know, not film in my sight anymore. Yeah. So, which is not acceptable to me. Okay. Yeah. So he just said, I don't want you to film my sight anymore? Or yeah. he was threatening you as well, was he? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, in every other word was a threat, yeah. And do you remember anything specific? Only I'm going to stick the drone up your ass a couple of times and okay. I'm going to beat you up, I seem to remember. Okay. But, as I say, it's all on there. Yeah, and, and you feared you would be assaulted? Oh, <laughs> yeah, a few times. Okay. He, he came out to run. Okay. Okay. And you don't know him? You've no, I've never seen him before. Today. today, yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, what we'll do then? As far as I'm concerned, it's an arrestable f offence. I was yeah. scared shitless, to be quite honest. Yeah, so so arresting someone is a means to an interview. So uh, sort of thing, the way I can describe it as, is um, arresting someone would only reduce the risk. But with, with you not knowing him, him not knowing you, he doesn't know where you live, and I think he's about, he, he's intending to drive off to wherever he lives. Yeah. There's no further risk, I think. No, no, once I don't we, think there is, no. Once we see you guys go, no further risk. No, I so, agree. So arresting-wise, we wouldn't be able to justify it to our custody sergeant. Mm, there'd okay. be no necessity to book in. That's, That's basically one of the things we need for an arrest. Yeah. Okay. But, but just because someone's not arrested doesn't mean the job can't be dealt with. Yeah. There's something called a voluntary interview or a caution yeah, voluntary interview. Yeah, just tell me about it. Yeah. So what we can do, uh, we can confirm his details through driver's licence, uh, intel checks we do, police yeah. distribution checks, whatever. And as long as we're satisfied we know who he is, yeah. then we can invite yeah. him in front of you next week. Well, I've got no record, but I guarantee the way he acts, that man's well, got a record. Yeah, we'll, but we'll see. But, but what that means is it gives you an opportunity to download your footage. Yep. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to get a statement from you. Do further inquiries like witness inquiries or CCTV inquiries, although that might be redundant because you're, you're recording anyway. Yep. Um, and then we can invite him in next week and, and interview him. Yep. So it's, it's, it's straightforward, but just because we don't arrest him doesn't yep. mean that we're not dealing with it. No, sure. Um, okay. We'll see if, That's fine. If, if we're satisfied there's details, then we'll explain to me you need to come in next week for an interview. Yep. Uh, and then we'll spend some time with you today, get in the footage and take a statement. Great. Cool. Great. Uh, Switch me down to the ground. And if the gentleman was to sort of apologise to you, you wouldn't want to squash it or you want to... I don't think you should be squashed. I was scared shitless. I was running across the road to get right away from him and he came after me and I had to run back across here through all that traffic and then into quick fit and that stopped him. Now I had five people in quick fit and not one of them would phone you. How come if you're supposed to ride, you wouldn't run into Lidl, you come sort of back this way? Because, because, because that's where I felt safe, because I was in having a tyre done earlier on at Quick Fit, and I was in there talking to them with the wife and that, and I thought they'd help me. I was wrong. Five of them, not one of them would phone 999. And have you not got a phone on you? <sighs> I've never left my phone at home. I left it. I was going to say, didn't leave the drone at home? No. No. I can't believe, I, can't believe I left it. So have you walked, walked here today then? No, no, I've hid my car up the road. It's what we have to do, droners, auditors, photographers, we have to hide the cars. Otherwise people yeah. follow you. Is it far away then? No. Yeah. Ah. I only came out for a quick half hour as well. So I ran out of content, didn't have anything to put on the uh, YouTube tonight, so I thought I'll go out and have a look at this place. Oh, no. I normally got four cameras on me. Today I got two, no phone. Can't believe it. Interesting going on in the site then, or is it just a normal construction site? Just, just normal construction. I mean, on, you know, this that looks fairly big, but when the sun's on it, it doesn't give yeah. you much at all. But when I get home, stick it on a nice big screen, fantastic. But uh, yeah, that's why I don't, I don't even talk on it. When this is running, um, I don't even talk on it. I wait till I get home and I can see what's going on, and I can over talk on the on yeah. the video. And uh, you and no ULIS. I do a lot of. Well, I used to do a lot of the protesting with no ULIS. Yeah. And uh, 
and then that got me into um, into this sort of thing because some of them mix it up like I now do It's the um, mini, it's called a mini four. It, um, it's a 249 gram, which is under the, they call it sub 250. Anything 250 or more, you know, you've got things like you can't fly it over a um, commercial site, you can't fly it over a load of people. With this one, you can do near enough what I like with it, nearly. It's a grand on its own. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah. You buy them big, buy them big ones. You know, second hand. Some of those the police use. You know, you've seen them, obviously. Yeah. Monstrous, great things. They're only a couple of grand each. Is it hard to control? Um, <laughs> I had one lesson. A friend gave me an hour's lesson up at Blackheath Common, yeah. and the rest I've learnt myself. Just by just doing little bits you know yeah, not going like too far it. like up there you know you just take it up and then use your dips things like that and, how high does it go i'm allowed to go 120 meters high and then and how do you, how do you know you're 120 meters high? it won't let me go any further oh, okay. so it comes up sure. yeah oh, okay. it's like it wouldn't let me go into a tree it if it runs out of battery it come back to me um oh, lo lots of things um can't think loads of things it'll do anyway but uh, yeah the main thing is is if it you know if it if I go if I tried to put it into a lake it wouldn't go it would get to about six or eight foot and stop and I couldn't and I couldn't crash it yeah and and then in the end it would run out of battery yeah but just before it does it go up in the air and come back to me oh, that's good. No, brilliant you well, just can't you can't lose them yeah. it's great fun Kids love it. If you got, you know, if you got, if you got kids, you can buy them off of uh, Timu for fourteen pound ninety nine. Oh really? Yeah. I bet they break it's easily though. Probably. Yeah. There's no, there's no licenses. Nothing. It's not even a license for this. Don't need a license. And does that like just stick on the top? Or like, that you... there is what they call the operator's um, mm. uh, equivalent of a license, but it doesn't have to be me. It yeah. Could be your drone. I'm using it. I don't need a license to use it. Um, it's just the way it is. I don't. I don't understand it, but. Yeah. And have you just got to hold it? Does it clip into the? Oh, that will clip. I've got a. I've got something somewhere in one of my pockets. Holds it all together. That goes over the top because that is really. That, yeah. That that gimbal. Fragile, yeah. Mm, very fragile. So that goes there. I yeah, I won't be putting it up again today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, might as well let the battery run out anyway. Oh, is that what the flashing is? Yeah, yeah. But it, it won't hurt. Sometimes it's good to let them run out. Yeah. How long's the battery life? Um, An hour or? No, no, not that long, about 30 minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, that's oh, all. Yeah, no, and if it was really windy, because they they say up to 50 miles, 50 miles or 50 kilometres an hour, I can't yeah. remember. But if it's doing that, then it's doing this all the time, trying to keep straight, and the then it will use yeah. up in 20 minutes. Oh well, I'm going to have a good YouTube content tonight, aren't oh, I? Yeah, there's that, yeah. What is the YouTube channel? It's um, vlogging with the beachcomber. With the what? The beach? beach coma. Coma? What's yeah, as in someone that combs the beaches, you know, <laughs> searches the beaches yeah. for oh, money lovely, and yeah. whatever. You do that as well then? Oh, the, I, uh... did, I did do when I was younger, yeah. I had an uncle that took me out for about 20 years. <laughs> he used to go out beachcombing. Yeah, you find anything good? Yeah, I did in them yeah. days. There was always money. I mean, if you found a penny, it was a lot, you know. Yeah. I always wanted to do that to go along the beach with Yeah, it. yeah. I mean, my, my pocket money in them days was a shilling a week, yeah. five pence. So, you know, if I found a penny, yeah, <laughs> that's brilliant. Um, 
we've got his details confirmed. Happy Thank days. you. Good. ID. Good. Um, could we ask? Would you like to give a statement now or another time? Is For what, time? sorry? Would you like to give a statement now? So a written statement of what happened now or another time? Do you know what? I'd rather do it another time. I'll tell you why. Because mo most of what I've got to tell you yep. will be on here. Yep. So I will I will not remember half okay. of what was said. No but when I play this, yep. that will be my statement. Okay. So what we'll do then, if it's okay, we'll, um, we'll get you... Uh, you can go. Yeah, okay. Um, you can upload your footage to your computer, whatever. Yes. And then you got we'll, my email address as well. I've got and then we'll send you an invitation later on. It's like a, uh, it'll be an email. You open it with up, a link. link, yeah. And they'll take you to a website. And in that website, there'll be maybe halfway down. There's a box with three documents laid out. Yeah. Click on that, and you can upload your file to that. Okay. Um, so I'll probably put one one of the drone up. Mind you, the bigger file. I'll, I'll leave it to me anyway. Yeah. I imagine imagine the, the GoPro on your forehead would be the most valuable. Because yeah, capture it will. What he's saying and what you're saying. So I think a drone might not capture audio as well. No, um, no, it won't. There's no audio. All it will do is it will show you where I was. Yeah. Play over his site all day long. Yeah. So, so as my um, my colleague explained earlier about commuter resolution. Yeah. There's various disposal options for this case, um, and as they increase in severity, they also increase in, um, I suppose, commitment or requirement from you. So the commuter resolutions that well, that's that's one up from the bottom. Really. Bottom yeah. we tell him to not do that again we can educate him on the kind of laws around drone flying and filming in public that yep. we're entitled to do yes uh, and that could be the lowest level next up would be the commuter resolution which is a, a written warning basically he he's already said that he admits he swore at you and, and, and was a, you know kind of quite assertive towards you yeah he's he hasn't said anything about threats yet but you'll get that on yeah 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 obviously commuter resolution means that we won't require a statement from you but it is recorded this incident yes. and his admission that he has been aggressive towards you yes and that can influence future matters so say next week um someone's walking past or someone a, a postman parks across his driveway and yeah. he comes out and says i'm gonna fucking stab you with a parcel or whatever yeah then um we can look at that and then treat that differently yeah but it'd be um, interesting to see if he's got the 40 years old without a without a, a police record because yeah. the way he acted today that man's got a record i'm yeah, telling you but as, our, as we've kind but of we've worked out for you to see with him he's quite um a loud and abrupt person anyway so yeah. i think irrespective of whether you're on the wrong or right side of him he'll still be quite yeah sure aggy, i suppose but um yeah a huge resolution doesn't require a statement from you so you can surpass the footage, yep. we can talk to him, issue him with that, yes. and that's the matter closed. Okay. Obviously if you want to take it further, then we need a statement from you, and with a, the prospect of going to court yeah. in the future. Well you just tell me what you've done with him in the end, and I can make a decision whether I think that's right or, or not. Yeah, so we're a victim focused service, we won't commit yeah. to anything without no. discussing it with you. So we'll have okay. to, um, I'm sure I just don't want him doing it to anyone else. Yeah, okay, we'll make sure that's, that's, that's the case. That's good. The words of advice. I'm sure he's, he's quite disgruntled about our involvement anyway. So I'm sure he enough. is. But um, yeah. yeah, I'd recommend watching the detectorist. I'll remember that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Detectorist. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a look at that. Have a little chat about that. Yeah. yeah. Do you know the other thing I want to do? Yep. When I finish with this, because I do things for five years and then pack them up and do something else. <laughs> Magnet fishing. Yeah. Well, mate, I've been there. Have you? Yeah. Joe and I went like three weeks ago. <laughs> Did you really? You've got to find the right river though. Otherwise, you just get coat hangers and, and light lighters. Yeah. And also, some a lot of the rivers you're not allowed to do it anyway, isn't it? It's a twenty-five pound fine. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, we, I didn't we went, know that. We went to ones in Lewisham, <laughs> near the DLR. Yeah. No, no, near the. Um, what did you expect to find in Lewisham? Knives. <laughs> we wanted knives. Knives, yeah. And we we didn't find anything. Hang on, mate. You went out in your own time. Yep. Away from the police. Yep. You went fishing in Lewisham. Yep. For knives in a canal <laughs> or a <laughs> lake. Yeah, with ma a massive magnet on a rope. Yeah, we need to go and have a chat. <laughs> as long as you get the good enough swings, you can, yeah. get, you can cast it quite a long way and yeah. you'll get stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, maybe find the right river. Yeah. Um, Joe Kempton. Yeah, can we, can we make it a sort of conference call? Yeah. Well, no, yeah, I imagine, imagine the clay would be quite good. I think so. I always try and look for, there. I look for places that are high footfall. Right. Where someone might have run past and dumped them in. That's, yeah. that's the ideal one. It's got to be a bridge, surely. Yeah. You know, yeah, you've got yeah, to be yeah. doing it either side of a bridge. Well, really? You've got to be careful. Don't do it on metal bridges, otherwise the man gets stuck to the bridge itself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and you just catch a bridge. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, well I think I should. Fun? John. Oh, it was nice to meet you, John. And you. Well, nice to meet you, you guys. We'll thank you. Thank, thank you all very much. No worries. Thank you. And thank you. And thank this man because he gave us a phone. Oh, nice. You know why, didn't you? You know when I walked past? Yeah. 
Oh. Oh, was it? Yeah, I did see him putting loads of stuff in, yeah, but. Oh, there you go. I saw him pay for them, the other guy. I presume it wasn't. Oh, didn't they? Yeah. They weren't buying stolen goods in front of us, but yeah. It's pretty brazen if it was, isn't it? Hi, guys, and thank you for watching the video. It was a bit of a tough and hard decision if to call the police or not. I know auditors don't usually do that, but I have seen some do so increasingly more often. Anyway, please subscribe, like and share if you want to, and I'll see you next time.